Food production areas and equipment need to be hygienic in order to ensure that the food produced in such areas is safe and of a high quality. In order to establish high levels of hygiene, the factory microflora throughout the factory needs to be monitored over time um, with regards to types of microorganisms present. Current methods for analysing the factory microflora do not show all the microorganisms present. Um, the tests involve looking for selected microorganisms. So, for example, you might test for all the organisms that will grow on a total aerobic plate count or for levels of Enterobacteriaceae. And you may also look for the presence of certain pathogens, such as Listeria monocytogenes. But these tests um, only test for the microorganisms selected for and therefore do not describe the entire factory microflora. Different environmental factors can affect the uh, microflora of the factory. So things like any building work being carried out, um, changes in the seasons, um, changes in ingredients that are being brought into the factory environment can all have an effect on the microbial ecology. We've recently started a new member-funded research project to look at using the powerful DNA technique, advanced microbial profiling. This technique allows us to take um, all, the micro, all the bacterial DNA from a sample and analyze it with regards to um, what microorganisms are present. And it gives us details on all the microorganisms that are present and also what proportion of the sample those microorganisms make up. So this gives us much more information on the microbial ecology of any sample. Um, in the project, we will go into several different factory environments. So we will look at food producers producing perhaps raw meats, cooked meats, um, and um, fresh produce, for example. Um, we will take um, environmental samples throughout the um, factory and then... Um, analyze those samples for the different microorganisms using the advanced microbial profiling. Um, this will give us information on all the different organisms that are in each sample and the different um, microbial ecologies of the various populations throughout the factory. We'll be able to see from that how the microbial populations link um, with regards to um, ingredients, the um, factory environment and then finally the um, final product. This will provide information to members to enable them to achieve the goal of minimising microbial contamination of food products.